Hello and welcome to the last newsletter of 2017 and our first video newsletter. We could have made the shift on January 1st, but we wanted to give you a little heads up of what we see coming in the next year. Now, the other part that we want to share with you is the three major things that changed this year, 2017. What happened to your website? What did we have to change for you? If you're not a customer, here's the things that should have changed for you. If your friends are sending this to you, your web service provider should have been doing this for you. And if they didn't, you should have been doing it for yourself. And if you didn't, you're probably losing customers. The, the most expensive customer to get is a new one. The best customer is an existing one. And that's where most businesses get it wrong. And Google sort of helped us out a little bit this year by making it easier for our customers. What Google did first was say, hey, 64% of all Americans are walking around with one of these things in their pocket, a smartphone. That alone made them decide that mobile friendliness was going to be a huge piece. So if your site isn't mobile friendly, Google just gave you a big schwack and put you down on the bottom of the list. Is that a good thing? Absolutely, because if customers are looking for you with this and your website's difficult, why bother annoying them? At least Google's saving you that hassle so you don't lose a potential customer. You just have to get them another way. So fix it. It's not that hard, especially if you're a WordPress customer. Most WordPress templates have a new version that's mobile friendly because of Google's change. You're not sure? If you think your website's slow on your phone, it probably needs help, but Google's got a free mobile friendliness test. You can Google it and it'll pop right up. The second thing is also related to the phone. It's video. YouTube has become a massive, massive search source and source of information. If you don't have video, you're probably not relevant. But there's some caution to it. Video should be something that's organic, something where a person wants to watch it and they want to learn from you through that video. Then they should see it. But just forcing it on them in a background, they go away. And we agree. The third thing that changed this year that was massive is secure socket layer. The major breaches, Uber, massive hacking. Equifax, massive hacking. When you lose half of your customer's data, that's a bad thing. So Google said, look, even basic websites, if you have any kind of forum, you have to have a secure connection between you and the person browsing your site. So SSL became key. If you don't know you have it, that's easy. Go to your website, look at the top of the browser, and right there it should say secure socket layer, something like this. Notice the little key up here in the corner where the mouse is, or the little lock actually? That tells you I've got a secure website. So make sure your website's secure. Those are three major changes that shifted everything in the sands of the internet and how we approach internet search internet search marketing, and video marketing. Now, looking forward to 2018. Audio video marketing is going to be a major player. But another piece that is really starting to come together is local search. Just recently, I had to go pick up some parts for my spa. I hadn't been to that shop in two, three years. I bought a good brand, it's been reliable, but something broke and I didn't want to pay for the service tech to come out for a simple part. And then when I drove across town, I couldn't find it. So I pulled out my phone and I asked Siri, I asked Google, I asked Google Apps. And in fact, I got all the way to where I found it was standing under the sign. There are two keywords right there in 36 inch letters. I typed them in and could not find the store. I showed it to the store manager and he put his head down and he understood. That's local search. What's happened is local search has finally taken over. Google has given up. So even if you're in Google places and you have all your Google information correct and your website's perfectly optimized, if the search directories, and there's about a hundred of them that Google looks at, 50 that are like critical, you can't be found by any of those services if those local directories aren't perfect. And when I mean perfect, our address is an office and we have number sign 427, we have suite 427. Occasionally, somebody will send us mail at apartment 427. All those different versions of 427 confuse the local directories and confuse Google, 
and it says, well, they're not really keeping up with their stuff, eh, let them go. And that's what happens. So we partnered with Yext in 2017 so that we can move forward and help you keep everything the same. What this partnership does is it lets us take the data that we know about you, put it into a single location, and do the updates every month for one site and blast it out to 80, 90, 100 different sites at the same time. So if you're a restaurant and you have a special on a Friday night or you want to have an Easter special, boom, one entry, everybody knows it. Google knows it. Now you move to the top or at least have a chance to get to the top. If you don't do this, you don't have a chance anymore with Google. Google no longer has their own local algorithm. They've eliminated it. The near me function, as they used to call it, is essentially gone. Now the next part, YouTube is massive. If you have a business and you want to show your customers what you do for them, the website's a great starting point. It's a good landing spot, but you've got to have video, video like this. That's it. If you do those two things in 2018, I think your business will continue to grow and we'll grow together. So if you're not a customer, call us. Let's get you started. If you are a customer and you're not doing video yet, let's get it done. You've probably heard that from me a couple of times already this year. And we're showing you with this newsletter that we're going video too. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great holiday season. And I hope you come back in January for the next video newsletter.